everybody Ann here, just sitting here having my coffee, planning my day. Not going to be a big day today. Really, all I've got to do is, well, i got to clean out some buckets. I've got to work with the chicken yard. I'm going to do some rearranging inside the tiny house because there's some things that I just needed to make easier for me. You know, kind of like back when I was living in the van. Everything was designed to kind of just flow and right now it's just not flowing inside this tiny house it will eventually um, especially once the walls and the cabinetry and whatever else is you know that I'm gonna be able to get up is gonna be up but I've got one simple thing that I think is really going to simplify my life so let me finish my coffee and just get to it I don't know if you can really see but I had to move this back some there just wasn't enough room in here and trying to slide in through here was hard so I've got about twice as much space and I've put two curtains up here now and so my little potty area is a little bit bigger and I also store my clothes there I know it may seem weird because it's right next to the the toilet but um, it's it's got a lid on it and it stays locked at all times so you don't smell anything at all and back in this area here I am likely can you see I am likely to put the tub in here put the composting toilet down into it and then just figure out a shower situation so I can shower inside yes indeed I brought the sink inside I've got it this way because uh, this way it was coming out too much I may change that eventually and um, I moved the propane tank over there brought the big water tank back in and it kind of leaks a little bit so I just put the doggy bowl underneath that store the uh, camp stove on top of that and if I ever get tired of looking at my dirty dishes well it just disappears in the blink of an eye I just throw something over the top of it so yeah and I had one more uh, pillowcase that I put around it with uh, bungee cords so yeah I gotta get that organized over there uh, get the insulation over there there's really not much insulation left to put in there is basically from that window this wall over to this wall and then can you see that two two little places over there and of course the roof so uh, I don't know I'll get it done eventually but yeah so this is gonna make it easier I can do dishes in here I can wash my hair in here and underneath let's see if I can do this so you can see underneath there is a bucket that the water will drain into and that's just for I don't know I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna use that or not for water I may filter some water and keep some extra over there because I've got the Berkey but I think this is gonna simplify things because I can just heat it up on the camp stove over there pour it into there and it'll just be easier lean over and wash my hair in the sink wash dishes do anything so yeah it doesn't look the greatest right now um, I'll integrate it better at some point but yeah I, I just needed to have the sink inside so I clean it up and brought it inside look at Miss Judy trying to take a nap she knows I'm talking about her though she has been super hyper lately <laughs> that's okay she's a good dog she just needs to settle down a little bit I try to get her as much exercise as possible but it never seems to be enough with this dog but I love her. She's a good snuggler. What the heck? <laughs> These chickens just think they belong everywhere. Look at you, Mama. This is a bigger one. That's definitely not Patsy. Oh my goodness. I love my chickens. Look, remember those little solar lights that I had in the mason jar? Well, I've strung it up all over this tree. And there's my pretty star. <laughs> and uh, it lights up at night it looks so pretty eventually I'll show you what it looks like I don't know if it'll be in this video because I'll probably have to upload it before it gets dark but yeah this is still living I'm so happy it looks healthy so I don't know maybe I'll be able to keep it alive and plant it down by the street along with a couple other ones I took some time out of the bucket that was grown with the eggplant transplant it down here that's all doing just fine boy it looks messy over here though Ugh, I hate it the basil of course died but the sage and the rosemary is still surviving um, the chickens don't seem to want to eat those too much 
and the oregano is doing pretty good. I'm probably going to go ahead and harvest that pretty soon here though and just bring it all inside and dry it up. Looks like those onions are still doing okay. Yeah, these are doing okay too. The chickens come in and eat them every once in a while. And look at my turnips. They are starting to grow. There, There's going to be a couple of turnips for me. Oh, and yeah, I found that at Mr. Lucas lawn. It is wild garlic chives. They're delicious. I dug, dug them up and transplanted them down in this bucket and they've been doing just great. Look at this. <laughs> the passion fruit vine. Yeah. The chickens came and ate the foliage off of this one, but there is a little spree coming up there, so hopefully they won't eat that. What is going on over in that tree? Oh, there's a squirrel right up there on that limb. Making all that noise. They are all over my woods. Somebody's been shooting their guns like crazy out behind me. <laughs> it's crazy. If it's not this guy shooting, it's Mr. Lucas or somebody over there. One night or one day, well, late afternoon, I heard somebody shooting like way over there. And then Mr. Lucas or somebody over there would shoot back. And then you'd hear two more shots over here. And then two more shots over there. It was hilarious. What are the what are the chickens up to? There's Coco. She has gotten so dang big. She is the biggest among the Asian blacks. Just look at how big. she looks like she's almost full grown. Ooh. Pretty girl. What you doing, Romeo? Yeah, he chased the chickens around the yard today. Hi, chickens. But look at all of them are getting so big. It's just crazy how fast they're growing. And the little leghorns are being nicer. They're not doing as much pecking these days, so that's a good thing. Hey, sweet pea, what you doing? What you doing? You getting big? These barred rocks are not as big as the Asian blacks, but they're still getting big. And look at this one. She's dirty. She's got some stuff on her feathers. What the heck? It could be from that dust bath, but I don't know. That looks kind of nasty. Huh. I'm going to have to investigate that further. Don't like it. Oh, I made some split pea with ham soup. I made way too much of it. And I gave the rest of the chickens and they love it. Look at how pretty Romeo's feathers are. I wish it was sunnier so you could see. He's just a glorious rooster. While I was doing some digging today, I noticed in this little crack in my shovel, there's some kind of weird mushrooms. Can't get it in focus. Look at that. Weird. I don't know what they are. This water catchment system has been working great. It rained basically all day yesterday and throughout the night. Both of those barrels are full. They're not going to be full after I finish cleaning all my buckets and doing different various stuff. Refill any empty gallon buckets. I already refilled that blue um, jug that's inside. It's like six gallons. I, I had to dump all the stuff out of it because there was particulate in it and I just didn't trust it. So. Um, I washed it out real good, dumped it out, six gallons of water, oh my gosh, I, I, I felt like I was, I don't know, committing a crime or something, but um, that's okay. Oh, and the other uh, big trash can on the other side of the tiny house, that's full, so got plenty of water. I brought the blue one inside because I wanted, I didn't want to have to keep bringing in like one gallon, two gallon, I just wanted a whole bunch of water in there. Now, I won't drink with that. Um, I may wash dishes with it um, and do stuff like that. I don't know. Um, but any, any of it that's going to be drank is going to go um, through the Berkey, of course, through the Berkey. You know what I should have done? I should have ran that water through that homemade water filter that I've got. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'm not going to show you that, but I think I'm going to do that. Just run it through that. Um, it's our, I've already got a clean bucket for it and that way at least I know that I, I you know it's safer to you know I don't want any bacteria on my clean dishes if you know what I mean I mean I've got that spray sanitizer that I use so that really does help but 
I think it would be better if I just filtered that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, well, you know what, guys? I am just going to do the rest of my stuff, make this a short video, and um, got to clean out the wood-burning stove because it's going to start getting cold at night again. Um, not below 40, and I don't, I wanted to burn that wood-burning stove so bad, but I haven't lately because it's just not cold enough. It's just a comfort. Um, I mean, it would have been a luxury. I would have had to open the windows because it gets pretty warm in there. But you know what? I'm very proud of the installation that we did. It's working out great. Nothing is heating up that isn't supposed to heat up. So it's working great. I need to get the wood ash out of there. I'm going to add it to the chicken bath. I may wait to add it till tomorrow though because it's so wet out there right now. Yeah, and I just don't want it to turn into a big clump. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all that stuff. And uh, well, I guess uh, see ya. See you in the next video. Bye. <music>